So today, I will be teaching you about the eight planets of the solar system. So the introduction. In our solar system, there are eight planets that circle around the sun. The sun is in the middle, while all the planets travel in orbits around it. These planets travel in counterclockwise direction. Before, there were only nine planets, but now they officially declared that Pluto is no longer a main planet. There are two solar systems. The first one, the inner solar system. The inner solar system contains Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are the closest to the Sun. The outer solar system contains Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are separated by the asteroid belt. So here is a picture of the solar system. So the sun is at the center, then Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These four planets are the inner solar system. Then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These four planets are the outer solar system. Groupings. The eight planets are grouped in many different ways. Two easy groupings are the composition, what they are made of, and size based on their diameter. So composition. Rocky planets. The rocky planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are mostly made up of rock and metal. They are heavy and move very slowly. Also, they don't have springs and have very few moons. Gas planets. The gas planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are mostly made up of gases. They are light and they move quickly. They also have rings and a lot of moons. Now, size, based on their diameter. Small planets. Small planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They have diameters less than 13,000 kilometers, kilometers across. But Mercury is sometimes referred to as a lesser planet because it is so tiny. Last one, giant planets. The giant planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets have diameters greater than 48 kilometers. So here, you can see another picture of the planets. So these four are the inner solar system and this big planets are the outer solar system. So as you can see, they have a big difference on their sizes. So now let's start at Mercury. Basically, Mercury is a small rocky planet. It is covered with craters and has changed very little from when it was first formed. It is also the planet closest to our sun. You can see Mercury with the binoculars or just the naked eye. Because it is always very near the sun, Mercury may be hard to be seen in early evening skies. Also, scientists think that there may be volcanic activity on Mercury, but they are still studying about it because they're not sure. The temperature on Mercury ranges from 90 Kelvin to 700 Kelvin. So when you convert it to Celsius, it could be negative 183 to 900 Celsius. Also, it was once believed that there was no water on Mercury, but recent radar information shows evidence of ice at its North Pole. They said that the ice hasn't melted because it is protected from the sun's heat by some of its craters. Lastly, one of Mercury's largest features is called the Calorie Basin. It is about 1,300 kilometers across. It was probably created by a very large crash 
early in the history of the solar system. So here on the picture on the right, you can see this feature. And this feature is the calorie basin. Next one, Venus. Venus is a small, rocky planet blanketed in a thick layer of yellowish clouds. The clouds are not made of water. Instead, they are formed from sulfuric acid, which is a poison. Also, Venus' surface is very hot. It is about 400 to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Because Venus is so similar to our Earth, we sometimes call it the sister planet. Why? Because Venus is only slightly smaller than Earth. Also, they both have few craters indicating relatively young surfaces. And lastly, their densities and chemical compositions are very similar. The Magellan spacecraft, which was sent to Venus to, to inspect it, showed interesting and unique features. One of it is the pancake volcanoes. So there is a picture on the right here. So this oval stuff are actually the pancake volcanoes on Venus's surface. Venus is usually visible with the naked eye. We sometimes call it the morning star or the evening star. It is by far the brightest planet on solar system. Lastly, Venus' hot temperature is due to what we call the greenhouse effect. Its large amount of carbon dioxide acts like a blanket. So when the heat of the sun reach the planet, the heat gets trapped underneath the clouds. Because the heat has nowhere to go, Venus gets hotter and stays hot. So Earth. Earth is our home planet. It is by far the only planet in the solar system with life. So 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. It is the only planet which water can exist in liquid form. Also, the Earth's vast oceans keep temperatures stable. So if 71% of Earth's surface is water, then 29% 20, of it is land. So here there's a picture of Earth's surface. So the water would be 71%, and the land or the continents will be 29%. The Earth's atmosphere is 77% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and the other percent would be traces of argon, carbon dioxide, and water. The carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere is very important. Why? Because it helps to maintain the Earth's temperature by way of greenhouse effect. Also, the Earth's surface is very young. Erosion and tectonic processes like earthquakes destroy, recreate, and reshape most of the Earth's surface. Also, it is approximately 4.5 to 4.6 billion years old. The Earth is the densest, densest major body in the solar system. Why? Because it is the heaviest and the most compact of all. Lastly, the Earth is orbited by only one moon. This moon is called Luna. So there is a picture of Earth here. So this is Earth, and this is its moon, and its name is Luna.